Well, here I am wrapping up season three of Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. I'm so glad you joined me here. I am Reverend Ellie Beerman, and I am taking you on a tour of my neighborhood because it's springtime here in the Northeast United States, which means there are gorgeous flowering bushes and trees and flowers everywhere. And I live someplace where it's quite beautiful. And I thought that's, that's the kind of energy to close three incredible years. And when I come to you in May, it's going to be the same show, but not exactly the same show, because the universe said, let's go down a different path in metaphysics. Spring is such a magic time of year here. Well, I guess everywhere. But I like living someplace with different seasons. And what happens here in spring, I'm in the Northeast United States. What happens here is all the green starts coming out again. And it's the most spectacular green up in the trees, up and down in the grass. It's almost a chartreuse, depending on how the sunlight's hitting it. And it's just kind of takes you in to its energy. Oh. So I'm going to take you a little bit around the neighborhood. I don't know what kind of tree or bush this is. It has pretty flowers on it. And going down to yellow, so for Sophia, and sorry, don't rec don't remember what those leaves are for the plants that are coming up that'll create the flowers. And you see, I guess it's a weeping cherry across the street. A lot of forsythias around at this time. This is what is so powerful that I want you to see. It's an old neighborhood. Lots of stone walls. And what happens on the stone walls? Same thing that turns a rock mountain into a green mountain. Here in the east, our mountains are green because they're a lot older than the mountains that were out west. I did live in Idaho in the northwest for 10 years. And the mountains were rocks. Like That's why they call them the Rocky Mountains. So it starts with algae. And it covers it and keeps growing. Remember, plants have wisdom. And it just gets bigger and bigger until it totally envelops. The stone. You can see, like, I think it's algae. It's not just up on the stone wall. Let me take you in for a really good close look at how extraordinary this is. Isn't that just amazing? It's all over the driveway. It's just paved once upon a time. Check it out. So it eats all of this stuff, reduces it to, I guess it's dirt. And now here we come upon my favorite thing, the daffodils. They are 
are probably a thousand different kinds of daffodils. Here are a few of them. I love daffodils. Why do I love daffodils? In the yard where I grew up, they were the first flower up, up in the winter. And then later, of a color that we have here. So if you don't live someplace with season changes, maybe you don't get to enjoy this. Even the dandelions, people call dandelions weeds. A weed is just a flower growing someplace where it wasn't planted by a person. And if you've ever eaten dandelion greens, I especially like the red ones. You know they have a place here and in your diet. Let me get closer so you can see. There are a few different varieties here. Check out the dandelions. It's the season when they're out in numbers. So here's some other varieties of the daffodils. So as I was saying, the daffodils were the first flower up because we didn't have flowers in our garden that actually would have come up before then. And I got a closer view of the weeping cherry. It's very pink. Not seeing the color as vibrantly as what it actually is. I grew up with a weeping cherry in my yard. And what's so extraordinary about the daffodils? Well, there are varieties that start opening in March, go all the way through to June. There's such a variety, it's, it's an old neighborhood. I don't even know what all these kinds of trees are. And yes, the neighborhood's so old, there are still above ground electric lines. Look how tall these trees are. They go up and up and up. And what's so amazing is we have so many really high winds. And the trees were frozen, sometimes encased in ice. They didn't break. They weren't blown over. And man, they did some major, major swaying. So back to the daffodils. When I lived in Virginia, in Northern Virginia, the daffodils came up right through the snow. And I remember, oh, I love my daffodils. I take care of them, and I remember a prediction for a frost. So the first time I went out, and I covered all of them to protect them. But the next time, I didn't know it was going to frost and snow. And I went out the next day, and the ground was covered with snow, and there were all these daffodils came right up through the snow. The other thing unique about daffodils is they don't close. They stay open all the time. Other flowers will close. Not so with daffodils. They're just open all the time. You know what's so cool? As many green leafy plants, the leaves start out red. They bud out red, and then they'll turn green. Here are the flowers I was talking about. An older weeping cherry. I don't remember if these are dogwood.
but there are quite a few of them here. And check this out. I'm not sure if it's a red leaf maple from here. I know it's beautiful. Look at that sky. Where is the sky? There is no sky. Remember, join our Facebook group. I want to know who you are. I want to know where you're listening. Because we're all over the world. And I just see numbers and I don't have any names to those numbers. <laughs> and of course, you can always go up to our website. But you know what's really cool now? I have another website for the show where you can follow along with a transcript which by the way if you're listening an apple an apple podcast the transcript's right there but if you don't play it on an apple player you can go to the other website so you're going to have two different links for the websites in case you haven't caught me on youtube I'm also on YouTube, both the video and the audio, just reaching a whole lot of people because that's why I'm doing the show. That's why I'm talking to you. My friends help me to grow in my life, and that's my goal to do with you, to take you further along your path. I'm not going to hold your hand and walk you down the path because it's up to you to figure that out, but I want to give you stepping stones so you don't stay stuck in one place. I really do appreciate your joining the community and supporting us, and that puts you on a live video call with me every month. So I can see who you are, know who you are, and we can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Well, within the parameter of the spiritual presentation that's going on. Remember to enjoy every moment. That's capital I and capital J-O-Y. Because nothing in your life happens outside of you. Nothing. It all happens within. And I look forward to seeing you here next time.